Well this year it's the year of the marigold and the marigold is a wonderful bright sunny flower to have in the garden and very good to actually plant among your vegetables because um, marigolds they actually um, are reputed to actually keep white fly away from tomatoes so it's a good one to actually put in your in your greenhouse among your tomato plants um, they're wonderful they're, they're wonderful little bright flowers you can get um, the french marigolds which are slightly smaller um, or you can get the african marigolds which are sort of much larger sort of 45 60 centimeters tall with great big big blooms on the top um, you can also get the little Tagetes ones, which are um, much more like little tiny daisy flowers and they form nice big, uh, nice clumps, quite large clumps. And you get lots of, lots of um, pollinators, lots of bees, bees on the little Tagetes because um, it's a much more simpler flower, so it, it attracts the pollinators much, much more readily. Um, very easy to sow. Um, you can sow them um, early spring. In a, in a seed tray like this. Uh, it's a nice big seed um, which means it's very easy to handle, very easy to space so um, you literally sow them just reasonably thinly maybe a centimetre or so between the seeds and what happens is once they come through you can then just tease them out and plant them singly into um, individual pots or individual seed little cell trays and you actually plant them out when there is no danger of frost so you want to wait till sort of end of May um, beginning of June to actually plant them out you could actually direct sow them outside but again not really until early May and literally you just sprinkle them across the surface like this to say a little bit of a gap between them but not too big a gap so you get plenty of coming up like that it's a bit too thick there we go and then it's a case of just sprinkling a little bit of compost over the top And then give them a good like so and then give them a good watering and then you just want to place them either on a windowsill in the house somewhere sort of about 60 60 degrees um, you could put them in a propagator and then after about 14, 21 days they should appear and then as I say you can actually thin them out, just plant them individually into some cell trays or smaller pots, grow on on a greenhouse bench or in a cold frame or on the windowsill in a, in a cool, cool windowsill and then plant out from late May um, or sort of early June and then you'll get a wonderful display of bright sunny coloured flowers.